Right friends, welcome back to Learning Space. This is a quick wrap up. Fifth module, exclusively ecology and environment. Most important from your prelims perspective, let us start with this Gulf of Manar Marine National Park. This is Shingle Island, which is part of this Gulf of Manar Marine National Park that was into the news last year because of algal bloom. Because of the growth of microalgae, which is also known as a sea sparkle, the name of the algae is Noctiluca scintillans. This is called a sea sparkle because it sparkles. Friends, this particular microalgae has grown abundantly. Friends, what are algal blooms? Please do not forget, algal blooms can happen naturally or anthropogenically. This is the most important point. This algal blooms means uncontrolled growth of algae or microalgae. After that, what happens? After the death of these organisms, then it depletes oxygen. Let me repeat once again. After the death of algae, microalgae, in the decomposition process of this algae, microalgae, it depletes the oxygen. And because of that, these regions becomes hypoxic regions. That means lack of availability of adequate oxygen. Please listen carefully. Here what happens? Because of abundant growth of algae, microalgae, subsequently in the decomposition process, it takes away the oxygen available in the waters. Because of that, hypoxic regions are formed. Friends, algal blooms, they can happen naturally or anthropogenically. Friends, when I talk about anthropogenically, most important is nitrogen phosphorus. Please do not forget. Because of the surface runoff, that means agriculture fields, we use fertilizers. And please do not forget, in India, nitrogen use efficiency in the agriculture system is just around 30%. What will happen to balance 70%? Balance 70% is lost in three ways. One is, part of it goes to the underground and groundwater, that is nitrate pollution. Please do not forget, blue baby syndrome, when people talk about nitrate pollution. Friends, something evaporates and the third part that is washed out into the oceans, seas, through the rivers. Friends, this way nitrogen, phosphorus reaches the oceans or seas. Not only agriculture, industrial activity. Because of that also nitrogen, phosphorus reaches the oceans. So friends, as far as anthropogenic causes are concerned for the algal bloom, Please do not forget nitrogen, phosphorus and they are oxygen depleted regions. Please don't forget death of fish occurs, death of microorganisms or you can say death of marine species occurs. Right friends, algal blooms. Please do not forget these are called dead zones also because depletion of oxygen and death of the marine creatures happens in these regions. I hope you got clarity. Please do not forget this. Noctiluca scintillans, it is called sea sparkle. Friends, let us look at marine heat waves. Marine heat waves, three points I would like to tell you. Marine heat waves means this. Because of the continuous excess heat in some regions, this marine heat waves can form. And please do not forget three important aspects. One is, they are due to two reasons. One is excess heat. Global warming is already taking place because of excess heat and ocean currents. Because of ocean currents and excess heat, marine heat waves happen. Please do not forget, marine heat waves can happen both in summer and winter. Third is, they are in fact in the regions of tropics as well as higher latitudes or you can say equatorial regions, not only in the equatorial regions they happen in the higher latitudes also. This is about marine heat waves. Then friends, desalination. And in the previous classes, we discussed about reverse osmosis or you can say RO machines. Friends, 
in the water purification in the houses we talked about ngt's order that when the total dissolved solids when they are less than 500 mg per liter these machines are not required that is the contention of ngt and we deliberated it in detail in the previous classes now let us look at this desalination right this is the membrane method reverse osmosis friends most of the desalination plants across the world are with this reverse osmosis method please don't forget friends three important aspects i would like to tell you one important aspect is it is highly energy intensive please don't forget second is brine that means whichever is released after this reverse osmosis desalination that is having high salt content it is highly salty and because of that what is happening the marine creatures are suffering due to the lack of oxygen friends already temperature is increasing because of global warming and because of high salt content in the brine solution because of these two reasons some areas are devoid of oxygen right so friends oxygen content gets reduced right and another important aspect is they discharge chemicals into sea water why do they discharge chemicals into sea water because certain chemicals are used because of the reason to prevent corrosion of the components which are used in the reverse osmosis not only that but also to prevent bacteriological activity chemicals are used in the reverse osmosis process and these chemicals are discharged into the waters so friends because of desalination plants two things please don't forget one is a brine solution because of that oxygen gets depleted second important aspect is this chemicals contamination these two things don't forget and desalination is highly energy intensive please do not forget then oxygen dissolved in oceans declined please don't get confused between the first one what we have discussed these are dead zones these are different when the phosphorus nitrogen that flows into the coastal areas dead zones can be formed because of agriculture activity because of industrial activity here what happens oxygen is depleted badly and what about this this is a normal process oxygen dissolved in the oceans declined by around 2% and the decline is more in the tropical locations because of higher heat involved in the tropical areas right so nutrient runoff and climate change these two are the reasons right so friends climate change means we are seeing the global temperatures are increasing and in some areas these temperatures are too high so friends because of climate change and a nutrient runoff because this nutrient runoff spreads to all other regions also so because of that reason oxygen dissolved in the oceans reduced by around 2% please don't forget and this oxygen depletion is prominent in the top 1000 meters water column because of this what happens certain species like tuna they will be affected there may not be much effect on species like jellyfish but tuna which goes very fast that requires more oxygen so friends species like tuna will be affected because of the reduction in the oxygen content as far as top 1000 meters of water column in the oceans is concerned indian pangolin please do not forget indian pangolin this is endangered it is ant eater please don't forget and at the same time it is available in himalayan foothills then northern plains and southern india friends it is a highly poached please don't forget it is a mammal it is highly poached and it is endangered please don't forget and it is used for meat and scales these scales which are just like keratin right these are used in the traditional medicine not only in china but also in some parts of southeast asia friends these pangolins are highly poached indian pangolin endangered don't forget chinese pangolin 
that is available in some northeastern part of the country but indian pangolin that is foothills of himalayas then northern plains and southern part of india it is available please don't forget then friends the district mineral foundation most important district mineral foundation with regard to the composition with regard to the rules with regard to who will represent in the district mineral foundations that will be decided by the state government please don't forget so friends functions of the district mineral foundation activities these are decided by the state governments please don't forget and district mineral foundations here certain percentage of royalty friends for the mining leases given prior to january 12 2015 percent they have to pay and after january 12 2015 10 percent of royalty will go to the district mineral foundation fund and another important aspect is 60 percent money that is to be utilized on certain activities in the location that is the most important aspect friends this 30 percent 10 percent 60 percent please don't forget 30 percent of the royalty for the mining leases awarded prior to january 12 2015 and 10 percent of the royalty for the mining leases awarded after january 12 2015 this is the important aspect please don't forget because nowadays mining leases are being given on auction because of that reason it is reduced to 10 percent of the royalty 60 percent of money must be used for the welfare of the local communities and it is also specified rules and regulations that will be decided by the state governments whether the representatives from local bodies will be there in the district mineral foundations or not that will be decided by the state government please do not forget look at the next one earth overshoot day this is released by global footprint network by august 22 this year that means within seven months 22 days we exhausted the entire earth can recoup that means the earth whatever it can recoup in the ecosystems we consumed within seven months 22 days that means we consumed which is supposed to be consumed in the entire year within seven months 22 days then 57 percent of the footprint is carbon please don't forget then 60 percent decline in mammals and as per the recent news report it further increased friends 60 percent decline in certain species like mammals birds fish reptiles amphibians please don't forget and 57 percent of footprint is carbon then polar bears polar bears are ice dependent and their primary food source are seals because of the reduction in the ice friends what is happening nowadays because of climate change ice is getting depleted it is affecting certain species and just look at these species polar bear that is in the polar regions and its main food source is seals they are not able to find seals because of the simple reason ice is getting depleted then friends another species this emperor penguins this emperor penguins is endemic to antarctica don't forget and sea ice depletion that is affecting emperor penguins please don't forget and it is endemic to antarctica region look at reindeer it is also called caribou in north america and this reindeer the same species which is called caribou in north america this reindeer name is in european countries as well as in the siberia region friends there is a news report reindeer or caribou population that reduced by around 56 percent during the past two decades or so right and it affects landscapes and livelihoods and what are the prominent reasons this climate change is one of the reasons hunting disease diminished food availability because of a climate change disease is proliferating as far as reindeer is concerned right friends if you look at these products please don't forget this chrysotile fibers chrysotile fibers chrysotile what is it it is nothing but asbestos chrysotile fibers are found in 
baby talk powder of Johnson and Johnson that was into the news. So friends, this chrysotile fibers, they are considered as carcinogenic. Another important aspect, please don't forget, this added monosodium glutamate or MST that was into the news as far as Maggie noodles are concerned. This monosodium glutamate or MST that is naturally available but the issue is with regard to whether MST was added artificially or not. When one looks at this virginal, this is nothing but fat fraction of the rice bran oil. It is used as adulterant in the mustard oil, please don't forget. It is into the news in recent times. So friends, please don't forget this chrysotile fibers. At the same time, original and added monosodium glutamate. Friends, this blue poppy, the name just have a glance at it. It is available in the Himalayan region and it is known as queen of Himalayan flowers. Friends, unfortunately what is happening is it is surviving in the higher elevations because of the climate change because of the global warming what is happening is it is able to survive only in the higher elevations it is not able to survive in the lower elevations in the himalayan region so this is about blue poppy please don't forget most important because it is queen of himalayan flowers and the name just have a glance at it and another one that is himalayan sorrel please don't forget that is remix lepensis and it crowded out alpine medicinal herbs because of invasive nature. Friends, in the Himalayan region, this particular plant, Himalayan sorrel, this is acting as invasive plant. Because of its invasive nature, what is happening is medicinal plants, it is crowding out medicinal plants. Medicinal plants are not able to survive. This is the important aspect to note. Then, E. Green Watch. This is the portal by Environment Ministry. Please don't forget. This tracks whether proper monitoring of CAMPA funds utilization is there or not in addition to other activities. Friends, E Green Watch. This is the portal of Environment Ministry. And please do not forget CAMPA fund. CAMPA funds, these are maintained in the interest bearing public account. The money which is deposited for this compensatory afforestation that does not go to Consolidated Fund of India, that is maintained in the separate interest-bearing public account. The idea is to monitor properly so as to ensure that it is used for the right purpose of afforestation. Friends, to monitor whether properly it is being done or not, with regard to CAMPA funds, there is one portal that is e-green watch, please don't forget. And Parivesh, please don't forget. Parivesh, that is by the Environment Ministry, that is the single window portal for giving clearances for environmental clearance, forest clearance, wildlife clearance, CRZ clearance, all these things it is intended for. Look at the next one, Tiger Census. I would like to spend five minutes on this because it is most important. The Prime Minister said India already achieved doubling of the tigers, right? And the latest tiger census pertains to 2018. And please do not forget, here LIDAR based survey technology was used. And these census have gone into the Guinness World Records. Please don't forget tiger census. They have gone into Guinness World Records because of the millions of images taken and because of various other aspects. It has gone into the Guinness World Records. Friends, when you look at the tiger census, please do not forget, 70% of the tigers are in our country. Please don't forget, across the globe, there are around 13 countries or so, but some of the countries nowadays are not finding the tigers. That is different story. And as far as tigers are concerned, 70% of the population is in our country. Please don't forget Asian elephants. If you look at Asian elephants, around 60% of the Asian elephants are in our country, don't forget. Then another important aspect is human-animal conflict, please don't forget. Because 30% of the animals are outside protected areas, right friends? In this context, I would like to tell you, India has got 50 tiger reserves. Out of 50 tiger reserves, northeastern states, if you see, in northeast, three states have tiger reserves northeast 
only three states out of eight states have tiger reserves please don't forget and mizoram dampa tiger reserve it has no tigers and from that perspective it is important and dampa when i talk about it it is in fact chosen for green agriculture project of fao please don't forget there are five landscapes selected for green agriculture project out of five landscapes please do not forget dampa landscape is one which is in mizoram and incidentally that has no tigers and if you look at assam it has got the highest number of tiger reserves as far as northeastern part of the country is concerned assam has got four tiger reserves kaziranga manas orang and the fourth one is the mameri please don't forget at the same time please don't forget this one horned rhinoceros that is in existence in kaziranga then manas manas when i talk about it please don't forget it abuts bhutan manas and orang these three have this one horned rhinoceros also friends if you look at arunachal pradesh do not forget pakke on one side kamlang on one side and the third one is namdafa please don't forget namdafa that side pakke this side kamlang at the top side these three are the tiger reserves in arunachal pradesh pakke namdafa then kamlang if you look at assam there are four and please don't forget this nameri in assam that is close to pakke in arunachal pradesh and when i look at assam please do not forget the hing patkai wildlife sanctuary and it is proposed to be converted into national park and it is known as amazon or you can say the rainforest there that gives it the name of amazon of the east please don't forget right friends this is about the hing patkai please don't forget and dibru saikova national park that is in assam that is into the news because of recent blow out right friends this is all about the tiger reserves towards the northeastern part of the country west bengal has got two tiger reserves one is baksa other one is sundarbans baksa has got no tigers right and conservation assured tiger standards friends this conservation assured tiger standards please do not forget most important this is a cats this is cats this is devised by 11 conservation organizations and governments and in our country the first one is lands down forest area lands down forest area that is sandwiched between rajaji tiger reserve and corpet tiger reserve friends please don't forget this lands down and this cats standards these are the conservation standards and these are globally acclaimed conservation standards and these standards are implemented for the first time in our country in this lands down forest lands down forest abuts rajaji on one side and corbett on the other side please don't forget then cats accredited this landstone this is the most important aspect and for the conservation purpose m stripes is being used so friends all these things are important this is cats landstone please don't forget and the third one is m stripes if you look at the total number of tigers 2967 as per the prime minister's version we have already doubled the number of tigers that is the commitment and please don't forget in comparison to 2006 census india doubled the total number of tigers by 2018 please don't forget another important aspect madhya pradesh that has got 526 highest number karnataka 524 uttarakhand 442 and these three put together account for around 50% of india's tigers right this is madhya pradesh highest followed by karnataka then uttarakhand these three account for 50% of the tiger population around please don't forget then this is central india and eastern ghats landscape that has got highest number of tigers and certain tiger reserves are into the news let me tell you some of them bandipur tiger reserve this is into the news because of the agitation when the road diversion proposal was there the road which comes from mysore and which enters kerala 
that passes through Bandipur Tiger Reserve, right? And Bandipur Tiger Reserve that is into the news. Then adjacent to it is Nagarhol Tiger Reserve. Nagarhol Tiger Reserve that constitutes the highest density of Asian elephants. Please don't forget. So friends, Nagarhol, Bandipur, these two are in Karnataka. Don't forget. Sariska in Rajasthan. That is into the news because NGT banned the mining activity. Sariska Tiger Reserve. That is in Rajasthan. Do not forget. And Sakosia Tiger Reserve. Where is it? Sakosia Tiger Reserve is in Odisha because of the reintroduction program. Right? Sakosia Tiger Reserve is in Odisha. Please don't forget. And this another important aspect is Palamau. Palamau that is in Jharkhand. No tigers. And Palamau and Betla National Park. These two are into the news in the context of North Koyal Reservoir Project. North Koyal Reservoir Project that is modified and it is being constructed in Jharkhand and it benefits both the Jharkhand and Bihar by reducing the height, by changing some modifications. This project is in progress. North Koyal that is the tributary of Son River. Son is the tributary of Ganges, please don't forget. So, North Koyal project in Jharkhand and it submerges parts of Betla National Park and this Palamau. Friends, in India, three tiger reserves have no tigers. One is Dampa in Mizoram, Baksa in West Bengal, Palamau in Jharkhand. Palamau is also into the news because of that particular aspect of North Koyal project. Right? And then I have already told you Sariska Tiger Reserve. Then Valmiki Tiger Reserve. This is situated in Himalayan Terai region. And Tarus. They are the prominent people in this Valmiki Tiger Reserve. And Valmiki Tiger Reserve that is in Bihar. That is the only tiger reserve in Bihar. And Tarus are the tribes which are inhabiting this reserve. And another important aspect is this Valmiki Tiger Reserve, Ebert's Gandak River. When I am talking about Gandak River, please don't forget. Because of the change in course of the Gandak River, please listen carefully. Because of the change in the course of the Gandak River, one particular area became disputed between India and Nepal. That is Sustha. That is Sustha region that became disputed between India and Nepal. And that is because of change in the course of Gandak river. And we already deliberated about Kalapani, Limpiyadura and adjoining territories where Nepal claims that arose because of the not able to exactly delineating the trajectory of Kali river. Because Kali river origin is the problem. And because of that reason, this areas like Kalapani, Limpi Yadura, these are into dispute. Right, friends? These are all about this. And this Nagarhol Tiger Reserve, I have already told you, highest density of Asian elephants. Right, friends? Several tiger reserves. And another important aspect is Tadoba Andhari Tiger Reserve. This we talked about in the state of Maharashtra. It is quite often in the news because of some road work. Right? And Boar Tiger Reserve. Because of some road work, it is also into the news. Boar Tiger Reserve, that is also in Maharashtra. It is the smallest tiger reserve, incidentally. Friends, another one that is Male Cart Tiger Reserve, that is also into the news. Please do not forget. Male Cart Tiger Reserve is also in Maharashtra. It is into some other reason. This is Forest Owlet. This is Endangered Species, which was extinct for over 100 years rediscovered in 1997 and this forest owlet there is some program to protect forest owlet in that context this is into the news and it is endemic to forests of central india don't forget so friends from your examination perspective please don't forget forest owlet some conservation program is going on in male ghat tiger reserve right and please do not forget apsaragopsis taxi 
this is a specific type of seaweed what is the name the name is asparagopsis this is a taxi formis why this is into the news this is seaweed that is into the news because of the potential to reduce methane released by cattle and sheep all of you are familiar methane is released heavily during the rumination process by the cattle rice fields sewage dumps landfills then there is cattle during rumination all these release huge methane right and all of you are familiar this mangroves also release methane right and next important aspect is peat plants or you can say wet plants so wet plants release huge methane naturally anthropogenically fossil fuels handling production extraction all these things account for the highest component let us come back to the discussion here this asparagopsis taxiformis this is the seaweed which has got the properties of reducing methane emissions by the cattle and sheep then collaring of the fishing cats fishing cats are quite often in the news and fishing cats ecosystem is wetlands please don't forget and here coring a wildlife sanctuary is into the news because of collaring of the fishing cats these are vulnerable when somebody is talking about fishing cats please do not forget wetlands the ecosystem is wetlands then colony collapse disorder that means sudden disappearance of honey bees is taking place that is colony collapse disorder or ccd what is the effect because of it because of it the pollination may be affected because these are the good pollinators so because of that crop production may be affected friends colas and in the next class i talk about panda red panda all those species in the next class and colas endemic to australia please don't forget these are marsupials just like kangaroo then eucalyptus trees their food is eucalyptus trees they sleep for around 20 hours a day friends this is most important because in the recent fire unfortunately several colas perished friends there is a beirut explosion ammonium nitrate that was the main cause 2700 tons that was stored and one important aspect is as such it is not direct explosive that means if something is triggered because of the availability of oxygen it acts as source of oxygen and subsequently you cannot control that and from your examination perspective it is not explosive but because of the huge composition or huge source of oxygen it is taken care of and under the explosives act 1884 it is controlled you may have a doubt when it is not an explosive why it is regulated through explosives act 1884 because of the simple reason it is the oxidizing agent under the united nations classification for dangerous goods because of the abundant availability of oxygen then if something is triggered if some fire is triggered you cannot control it its explosion will be huge because of the huge source of oxygen so therefore it is oxidizing agent under the united nations classification of dangerous goods because of that reason india classifies it under the explosives act it is not an explosive but india's categorization is under the explosives act its control its rules and regulations are all under explosives act friends one important aspect is mostly it is used in the fertilizer plants right mostly it is used in the fertilizer plants and only a part of it that is used as explosives right and the unfortunate aspect is it does not apply to quantities less than 5 kg that means under the explosives act ammonium nitrate rules 2012 they are not coming under the purview or you can say when the storage is some 3 kg 2 kg something like that 
that does not come under the ammonium nitrate rules 2012 that is the main cause of concern and please do not forget explosives act is applicable and it is the oxidizing agent it is the source of huge oxygen these are the important aspects then operation clean art this is to prevent the smuggling of mongoose hair friends mongoose hair that is used in the paint brushes right and now how to control it for that operation clean art is launched and this is the initiative of wildlife crime control bureau and another important aspect is this is under schedule 2 part 2 of the wildlife protection act and it is non bailable offense another important aspect is atmospheric carbon dioxide pre industrial levels it was somewhere around 280 ppm now it increased to around 417 ppm that means it increased by around 50% every year this co2 is increasing at the rate of 2.5 ppm annually and methane is increasing much faster than carbon dioxide but the quantum available in the atmosphere carbon dioxide is much higher methane is much less but the increase is higher as far as methane is concerned then friends these things we have discussed previously this oil india limited this national green tribunal that is fire incident with regard to this bagjan oil well and in this context dibru saikova national park which is surrounded by three rivers brahmaputra then dibru and lohit and at the same time maguri motapang wetland that is also into the news this pertains to assam please don't forget in the context of coal mine i have already told you dehing patkai wildlife sanctuary that is considered as in fact important rain forest friends in today's editorial discussion we are going to discuss bt cotton then using blockchain for increasing voter participation third one is what do you know about national dairy plan friends editorial discussions on monday wednesday friday and connect the dots on tuesday and thursday please watch these are all important modules friends with this let us conclude today's quick wrap up have a nice day thank you